If you know anything about the entertainment industry, you know that scripts and projects get started and scrapped constantly. There are so many movies that will never see the light of day, which for us can sometimes be a good thing and sometimes be a real bummer. Imagine our surprise here at Geek Bomb when we came across a list of actors who were actually cast as superheroes before the project was ultimately thrown out. Now we can't help but imagine what that world would have looked like. So we're here to ask, what if? What if Marlon Wayans was Robin? Once upon a time, back in 1989, he was cast as the boy wonder for a possible Batman 2 before Tim Burton returned and decided that he did not like the character Robin. He got all the way to a costume fitting, and now we want to know what that would have looked like. We can't say we hate the idea. He could have brought a great comedic aspect to the character. On the flip side, I don't think we've ever seen him in any sort of serious action role, so it may have bordered on funny seeing him as an acrobat. The sad thing is, now we'll never know. Next on our list of what ifs is Annette Benning as Catwoman. It's kind of hard to picture that role not being played by Michelle Pfeiffer, but we think Annette Benning could have rocked it as Catwoman. She has the attitude for it, and her acting chops could have brought a lot of depth to the character. Not to mention she's gorgeous. However, she ended up having to give up the role when she got pregnant. Then we have Nicolas Cage as Superman. I'm sorry, what? I think we may have dodged a bullet here. As good as he's been in other roles, we just do not see this. Honestly, he doesn't quite have the Clark Kent feel, and seriously, can you imagine a world where Nick Nicolas Cage is Superman? Huh? Nicolas Cage as a scarecrow, however, is a better choice, which he was also cast as in an unmade film which was to be called Batman Triumphant. We would have loved to see him play a more evil character, and Scarecrow definitely fits that description. However, Killian Murphy ended up doing a pretty fantastic job. Now, Army Hammer as Batman is something we actually can see, and we almost got it in a Justice League movie back in 2007. We ended up getting Christian Bale as Batman by Christopher Nolan instead, which we really can't be mad about. It's amazing. But we can see Army Hammer pulling it off. He he certainly looks like a Bruce Wayne, and his jaw would look incredible in the mask. His acting isn't bad either, so all in all, we could see that being a good choice. For the same Justice League movie, originally by director George Miller, Adam Brody was cast as The Flash, and Megan Gale was cast as Wonder Woman. Again, we think both of these choices could work. The Flash, one of my absolute favorite superheroes, is lighthearted, most of the time, and always cracking jokes, which Adam Brody would be perfect for. And Megan Gale is a gorgeous Amazon woman, so she certainly looks the part. She hasn't had a lot of acting experience, so we're not sure what that aspect would look like. Now, what if John Malkovich was the vulture? He was cast in the role for a Spider-Man 4 that we never got. And even though Spider-Man 3 was a bit of a disaster, we would have loved seeing John Malkovich as the vulture in Spider-Man 4. We're just gonna go ahead and say it would have been perfect. Can we still make this happen somehow? First of all, he makes a great villain. And second, he even looks the part. Okay, we're done fangirling now. Okay, now imagine a world where Tom Cruise is Iron Man. Can you picture it? Neither can we. But he was involved in the project for quite a while before dropping out because he didn't see it working. Good for you, Tom Cruise. That's when we got Robert Downey Jr. Not that Tom Cruise was a terrible choice. I mean, he's been in countless action roles and is a fantastic actor. It's just, he's not Robert Downey Jr. I am Iron Man. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Dr. Octopus isn't a bad choice per se, but we're having a hard time picturing it. I mean, he's done action roles and he's played a villain, but perhaps he's too much of a character himself to seem fully transformed into Doc Ock. However, he was also cast as Sergeant Rock in an unmade DC movie, which we can see except for the fact that he's an Austrian actor playing an American soldier. That could have been interesting. He would have definitely have to work on his American accent, but we're not sure we see it turning out well. Somewhere in an alternate universe, all of this is happening, but here in our universe, we're mostly happy with the casting choices we've gotten. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to follow us on all social media at Geek Bomb and help support our Patreon for more exclusive geeky content.